Hello, my name's Nigel. This tutorial is part two of the camera intent tutorial. In this tutorial, we're just going to be making a slight change to the previous tutorial and changing the Hello World text with a button and then implementing that button functionality in the activity. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, here we have the previous project file, which is just a basic project, no changes made to it. Now we'll make some changes with just one change. Okay, let's go to the uh, layout file for this activity. Okay, we've got, notice we've got these two tabs down here, text, for manually making changes. Um, in Android Studio, we also have a GUI design here as well. So what I'm going to do here is just select the text view. You can see it displayed here, highlighted with just the blue outline. We can just delete that. Now I want to add a button. So we just need to scroll on down here to see if we can find a button. Here's the button. Select that. And by using this GUI tool provided to us by Android Studio, we can just drag it across. Now I just want to put this button in the middle at the bottom. There it is. And I want to modify some of these layout properties. So I can just scroll down here. In fact, I'm going to move across to the text. It's just easier to see things in the text file than sc scrolling on down. There's a, a lot of attributes there. So I want to change the text here, Android hyphen text. I want to change that to something more applicable for our button. So I'm going to say take photo or anything you like. And I'm just going to change the ID to something I recognize a bit better for when I'm trying to find this view inside the source code. So I'm just going to call it, I don't know, photo. And change the button to uppercase B, just to keep to a bit of naming conventions. The only other thing I'll highlight here is the layout width and the layout height. Wrap content. So it, all it means is the length and the height of our views is going to be so it's around the text itself. The other option you have is filling the display parent, which should be the dis entire display. But we don't need that. This is a button. We just want to just wrap around the size, width and height, just around the text itself. Okay, we do need to make one more slight change. And it's just a button at the moment. It doesn't do anything. But we want it to do something. We want to press the button and for it to do something. So we need to implement the on-click functionality. So you can do that in the design tab. I think I'll just stay in the text tab. It's, it's your choice, your preference. So Android on-click. The good thing about this um, editor, Android Studio Editor, it'll help trying to work out what you're trying to do and also complete for you. And inside on click, we actually add the function name. So let's just put, what's this function going to do? Um, I'll, just call it, I'll just call it take photo for the moment. Something easy to remember. Save that file. Now I've made all the changes to the button I want. We can go back to design and view it. There's the button. Um, because we've add, added on-click functionality here, um, I need to implement that function name inside the activity source file itself. So I'll do that now. So go to the activity, and I'll add this function at the bottom here. Okay. 
Okay, so um, I believe it needs to be public. Void. Uh, what was it called? Take photo. And we can pass it the actual view itself. So that needs to be entered as an argument. Uh, I need to add the library reference for that. Okay, so we've got the function here. I just need to want to go back and double check that I've got the name right. Take photo, go back into the source file. Take photo, here we are. Now we just want to prove that when you select the button, something actually does happen. This is just a very short tutorial, so I'm not going to go any further into the camera part of this tutorial, but I want to just prove that the button does do something when you select it, when you press it. So we've got this widget here called Toast. And all it is is something that pops up on your screen and displays a message. So we're just going to use that. So uh, it's going to order complete for what I want, which is make text. Okay, so the first thing is just, I think I'm just going to enter this. It's just for the context. Going off by memory here. Okay, the next thing is just entering some text. So, um, let's just do something very simple. So, let's say camera button pressed. Now, the next thing is duration. You're given two times, two default times, short or long. So, I'll just do it short. Length short. And just one thing to make sure you do at the end. Just by calling this function by itself is actually not going to do anything and it's a common mistake. So you actually got to um, call show on at the end to show the results of this function call. So just show on the end there. And that's it. Okay, let's run that on our device see what happens so again click run app and I'll start recording that as well for the purposes of video Okay, so I'm holding this up here now. I'm going to select take photo Camera button press so we've validated that our button functionality does work and That's all we really wanted to do for this tutorial very simple this progressive bit by bit steps Okay, so I can stop recording Okay, the final step I want to do is just to step through the actual code changes we made. And we'll use a debugger to do that. Um, it's a nice simple way of doing that. So what I want to do is just to show you what was happening when we were starting the application. So we'll put a breakpoint here. I'm sure what a breakpoint is. Jump back to the previous tutorial. Now we click on debug to debug the app. So we've got the first breakpoint from the previous tutorial. I'm just going to select that again to remove it. And then I'm going to go on down to the corner here. We've got another green triangle. Select that, which will take us to the next breakpoint. Okay. So all we do now is select the take photo button. And we've already stopped in the take photo make text here. So it's just showing you the function call here. And if I can keep my hand steady. And I'm not too sure this is a great idea, but we'll just click carry on with the function. 
there you get the text being displayed and that's it okay so this was this very quick and incre short incremental tutorial for people first becoming you know first looking at Android and just grasping some of the basic fundamentals of Android for the next tutorial we're going to take a bit of a bigger step forward and we're going to actually call a camera application and after we've called the camera application we're going to have it return back to our application anyway if you're enjoying these tutorials and getting a start of, uh, and enjoying the style and the flow of the tutorials please subscribe there's going to be many more tutorials on the way and yeah thank you for watching and watch the space So I've got my camera application here, so let's press take photo. Um, I'm just going to use the default camera application here. I did have other applications that would respond to the camera request as well. I just want to use the default Android one. Here it is here. Let's take a, cup, a photo of a cup of green tea. And yes, like that. And as you can see, picture was taken successfully. So in other words, once the camera application had completed, it went back to my application inside that function and uh, successfully called that uh, image.